Okay. Um, hi. <clears throat> so, um, just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, kasi it's it's July 3 now. It's July 3 and throughout, uh, so it's half the year now. And this pa these past months since the year started, um, I've been speaking with a lot of um, business owners um, about Facebook ads and about my service. Um, and generally about Facebook ads because I want to, to um, help promote um, Facebook ads, especially for small businesses here in the Philippines. And <clears throat> what I found was that a lot of people still didn't know um, what Facebook ads are and how they work. You know? And ayun, so I wanted to shoot this quick video to, to give a very, very um, simplified um, uh, explanation on how Facebook ads work and how it can help um, grow your business, um, get you more clients, get you more sales um, by promoting your, um, your business on Facebook. Diba? So, ayan. So, meron akong paana. May... Ay, hold on. Meron akong pa... PowerPoint. Ayan. Okay. Okay. So, um... Well, in order for you to get a better understanding of how Facebook ads work, um, let's, let's have a basic understanding of how Facebook works in general. And um, siguro at one point or another, you said to yourself um, stuff like, bakit yung Facebook ko puro wedding photos? Uh, bakit puro baby pictures yung, ano ko, puro baby pictures na lang nakikita ko? Um, puro negative news naman yung Facebook ko. Ano ba yan? mag facebook na nga ako, pa-feel good, tapos puro negative pa. Or in Facebook, oh, puro kalokohan na lang. Um, and parang usually may pattern, di ba? Parang pare-pareha lang nakikita natin. Um, and the simple answer is, it's basically kasi you're telling Facebook na these are the type of content that you want to see um, with the way you behave, di ba? Um, so how how do Facebook or how does Facebook work yan? Yung man lang in-edit. Okay. So this is a Facebook user. So this could be you, this could, this could be you, this could be me. Um, or any Facebook user. And, and all Facebook users are people. Diba? And as people, as unique people, we have our own unique interests. Diba? You like basketball. You like football. You like you know, electric fans. You like the rain. You like um, dancing. Na. And remember, we have all these interests and we manifest them in our behavior. Specifically in this context, excuse me, sorry. Specifically in this context, it's behavior on Facebook. Diba? If you're interested in basketball, you watch basketball videos. If you're interested in current events, in politics, in the news, you tend to click on um, links na related to news. Diba? If you like baby pictures, you tend to like, like pag nakita mo yung, um, yung friend mo from high school na may baby, or oh, like love, or uh, no, whatever. Um, so, these are data points that Facebook is getting about you, diba? Um, so, actually, diba minsan na weird dahan tayo, but parang kilala ni Facebook, ganun, ganun. Well, actually, tayo din yung nagsusupply ng information by the way we behave, by the way we interact with the content we receive on Facebook, diba? Um, pakita sa'yo si Facebook ng um, products on skincare, ginusto mo, nag-like ka, um, sasabihin niya, uy, si Julian mahilig sa skincare, let's show him more skincare-related content. Diba? So, and now Facebook, being a social media platform, wants you to stay on the platform and wants you to have a good experience on the platform. Diba? So, in order to do that, see, Facebook will feed you more of the things that you're interested in based on what it thinks you like. Diba? So, it will, go, it will feed you back um, it will feed you back content that, that you like or that you interact with. Diba? So, if you, if you see na yung mga um, friends mo, mga kababata mo, getting married na, pero like na naman ng like, sabihin, ni, sabihin niya, uy, parang nag -e enjoy siya kapag nakita siya ng mga bagong kasal. Let's show him or her more um, new wedding photos. Or kapag na no, bad trip ka, kapag merong fake news or merong politics news, nakikipag-away ka pa, nakikipag-engage um, ka pa, diba? You're showing engagement. Nag-angry nag, nag ka or nakikipag-away ka sa keyboard. Sabihin ni Facebook, okay, this is the type of content that you interact with. Let's give you more of this um, content. So, hala ka mga bad trip kasi it'll feed you more of the stuff that Facebook thinks you're interested in. Diba? <clears throat> 
Um, so with that, um, how does Facebook ads, how do Facebook ads work naman? So we have the framework yeah, of the person, interest, behavior, Facebook. Here comes the business. So the business owner, the business, um, <clears throat> of course, in order to get sales, it wants to reach yung audience niya. Diba? Um, and yung tendency is we want, as business owners, we want to reach people, we want to talk to people where they are. And that is on Facebook. So what, bis what businesses will do now, if they want to advertise, they go to Facebook with money, syempre, paid siya, goes to Facebook with money and tells them, hey, this is my post, this is my offer, this is my business, or whatever you want to promote. Please show this in front of um, your people, di ba? Or the people hanging out on Facebook. Um, pero because Facebook is, um, it has data about their, ano, about the, its population or however you want to call it. It's users, yan. It's users. It can tell the business owner na, hey, I have X billion, ako hindi ko lang, 3 billion users, or uh, 1 billion, dami ko na 3 billion. Uh, 1 billion users. Um, to whom do you want to show this to? Di ba? Kasi instead of showing it to all, like yung sinasabi ko, pag mag-advertise ka sa EDSA, lahat ng tao dumadaan sa EDSA, makikita, may kita nga yung ad mo. But who among them will actually like your product or, or take action on your product? So the, Facebook has the data. Sabi niya, do you want, um, if you have a basketball-related product, do you want to show your ads in front of people who like basketball lang? Um, do you want to show your ads in front of people who are politically inclined? Parang ganun. So because of the data we give Facebook, Facebook now is able to segment us based on our interests, based on our behavior, to give the businesses um, a better um, experience na parang yung ads nila, ipapakita lang nila to people who are within their target market. Diba? So if you're, example, so if you're targeting the um, uh, parents, you can target parents lang based on the information Facebook has. Diba? Um, pero si business, hindi siya pwedeng pumunta kay Facebook and say, please show this, ano, this ad to, um, to people who like basketball. Tapos si Facebook, Facebook can't be, ah, okay, sige, sige. Uh, ito to, ito, ito, itong mga users ko mahilig sa basketball. Si, ano, si Julian, si, si Carlo, si Douglas MacArthur, si Junmar, ayan. Privacy yun eh. They can't tell Facebook who you are. But it can tell Facebook, um, these people are interested in basketball. So, in the same way that Facebook feeds, um, feeds you, yung interests mo, that's how businesses target through your interests then um, to get to you, di ba? Um, so, um, yan. So, talagang very important yung interaction ni person, ni Facebook, tsaka ni business. Kasi face, si person nagbibigay ng information kay Facebook about themselves and that information is used by business owners to be able to put their um, uh, ads or products or offers in front of the people that they want to show it to. Uh, ayan. So, uh, well, I hope that explanation was clear. Um, wait lang. Hindi ko pa yung ala. Ayan. So, I hope that explanation was clear. Um, if you have any questions, you can just um, message me dun sa, ano, sa page or ano. Uh, yeah, I hope this was clear. Um, yeah. So, I will see you again whenever, if you have any questions, just message me. And if you like yung, yung ano, if you like, um, na mag, mag, if you like me to, to do more educational videos on, on Facebook ads specifically, um, let me know um, and I'll oblige. So, I guess I'll see you around. Bye, guys.